So we got the 450R all loaded up. We got a long trip ahead of us. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, hop in the Raptor and uh, head that way. It's about an hour and a half trip. Hopefully it's worth it. So guys, as you know, I picked up that 450R and I've gotten plenty good use out of it. Made a couple videos with it, you know, had fun with it. I shortly realized after buying it, not having reverse sucks. And I also realized that it's more meant for like track riding. You know me and tracks guys, they don't, we don't get along. I had no intentions in tracking it at all and that's really what that bike's built for anyway. It, it has plenty of power, it's fun. But not gonna lie guys, I, whenever I'm ripping that thing through the woods, I feel like if I catch an edge and flip that thing, I'm dead. I've been looking to get myself a new sport quad, potentially a Raptor 700. Everybody's been in the comments. I've been reading your guys' comments on what to get and you guys keep saying Raptor 700, Raptor 700. Maybe I'll consider getting a Raptor 700. So then I decided to post it and when I did, I got tons of offers off the rip, cash off offers trades, but one really, really stood out to me. Somebody offered me a 2009 GSXR 750. I've never had a street bike before. I've rode a street bike one time and I didn't get it out of first gear. So I got no idea what I'm getting myself into, but uh, we're on the way to go trade for a street bike. Pulling up, we're about a minute out. Check it out, dude. Damn, it looks clean, bro. All right, let's do this. How's it going? I'm Christian. Chris. Nice to meet you, brother. Thanks, pretty clean. It starts right up. That's a that's a good sign. He said he put brand new tires on it, and he's got new brakes as well. Right at 19,000 miles. <laughs> Shift through the gears, tell me what you think. Seems, seems pretty smooth. I, I mean, I don't really know much about, about street bikes, but I did a little bit of research and it seems like the Gixxer 750s are a good one to have. You know, kind of good be beginner intermediate bike. I don't know, boys. Everything seems to check it out. Seems like a solid bike. Let's get the quad unloaded so you can check that thing out. Way too much for me. <laughs> a lot of four wheeler. Feel bad letting this thing go. I think checks out to you, checks out to me. Sweet. Good deal, brother. Just like that, she's all loaded up. We're officially street bike owners. Hey man, what do you think of the new rig? I just don't want to, like it's nice. Yeah. It's really nice. I think you got the better deal. Damn. Yeah. Wait, what size is it? 750. The only problem with it is this rear shock needs some sort of grease or something. That rear shock's gotta go. It's horrible. You ever rode one? No. It, it's honestly super easy. Oh my god, this thing Both blasters? Yo, no, it actually, it's fast, dude. I mean, that was yeah. fucking first gear and I was like 35. Yeah, they kind of, oh, you got this shirt to match it. Yeah. It's not that bad to turn. No. It's really not. Look at him. That bike. Oh, turn? <laughs> it's fast. I gotta work on the turn. You went you went a little wide down there. I know, I, well, I, I was expecting it. And here we go. And here. Like, the thing is, like, when I ride it, like Christian knows I'm like safe. Like I'm not gonna go fast. I don't have a helmet on. Not stupid. And he's turning the hammer. Oh, that means gosh. he's going fast. I I like the purchase. It's cool. But but why did you? Like, like why did I? I mean, it just kind of came like fell into me my lap, and the offer was there, and I've always wanted a street bike. You can get so many bitches now. I know yeah, it's gonna be sick. So dude. many dudes. Oh, oh, and there it comes. <laughs> and it's leaving the neighborhood. And this is what we we're talking about. Oh, there it comes. Here here it comes. Oh, there it goes. This is what we're talking about. Every lap becomes by, it starts getting quicker. Oh, quick. 
And this is what we've talked about. How you can put Nolan on anything. And and if you miss the shot the first time, it's no big deal because you know he's going by at least 12 more times. All right, guys, we are back at the house, and it's actually a couple days later. I've actually already taken care of absolutely everything I need to do to have this bike completely street legal. Already got the inspection done. Went ahead, slapped the tag on there. Got my registration taken care of. I have insurance on it. Guys, insurance is $12 a month, which is absolutely fantastic but check it out guys i think we got the better deal i think we got the better end of the stick on this one this thing is pretty clean dude like it's got it looks like it maybe has been laid over once because there's a little rough marks like here and then here as well but that's just small stuff guys that's really really minute small stuff that could be touched up with some paint or i could just order some new fairing for this thing make this a black bike but overall guys i mean just take a good look at it I, it is a beautiful bike everything works on it there's absolutely no issues at all with it it comes with an aftermarket part it's already been lowered which i don't know if that's something you want to do with a street bike lower it comment down below fellow street bike people what's the deal with with lowering it why do you need a street bike lower i don't understand tires look great on it i have ridden it on the road quite a bit and these tires they they grip the road really nice these are the michelin rate michelin pilots michelin pilot radials something like that right i went to my local cycle gear and picked up a different one of these clamps because the old one didn't fit my phone they they sell bigger ones and now this one fits my phone which is nice i also went ahead and picked up these gloves i think these things are absolutely sick they ran me about 80 bucks i think actually a lot cheaper than i was thinking and guys i had to go big or go home because whenever it comes to safety i hate paying for stuff too cheap and especially something like a street bike safety is a number one priority especially wearing a helmet did a little bit of research majority of people who like die or like actually get seriously hurt from street bike accidents are people who just don't wear helmets there's a couple states for instance south carolina that doesn't make you wear a helmet when you ride also people who decide to drink or have a couple drinks and hop on a street bike and think you can lean over a little bit more than you should not a good idea was safe to be in the number one priority i went ahead and got a showy helmet these are like the baddest of the baddest helmets now you street bike people you, you're gonna be commenting like well, you should have got an AVG. All right, listen, motherfucker. I can't spend $1,500 on a helmet. That's crazy. If you're getting AVG helmets, like you're like racing bikes, not racing bikes. I'm just trying to be protected, man. I'm trying to be protected and look good at the same time. And that's what we did. I just, I love the look of this helmet. I think it's absolutely beautiful. You can pop up these little vents here and pop up these guys pop up this one and then you can also pop which i've already done it but you can pop this one um i ended up paying like 750 for the helmet something around there it was definitely up there but again guys i don't mind paying money whenever it comes to safety one thing i am missing i believe i'm gonna get a jacket i just didn't i tried on a few at the store and i just couldn't find any that i really liked but check this out guys so this actually came with a clear lens but i ordered a photochromatic lens online on Amazon and look what happens when you put it in the sun look guys it tents itself how sick is that and visor down look at that it's tinted it's like a smoked lens and it gets pretty dark especially when the sun's beating on it and works really really well and then as soon as I put it back into the shade it clears up so at nighttime you have a clear visor and during the daytime you have a smoke visor look how much better that dark visor made this helmet freaking beautiful dude that's freaking sick that looks so good go ahead and fire this thing up for you guys I got to do this two-handed because you got to hold in the clutch <laughs> So good. And it's only got a new four slip on. I could do like full headers on this thing, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to. It already sounds pretty good how it is. That was a cold start. Dude, this bike is, we got a steal guys. This bike has no problems, runs great. Definitely is worth a lot more in value than my TRX 450R. I know, I know a lot of you guys are really, really upset that I got rid of the TRX 450R. Did I want to trade it for a street bike? Yes and no. You know, I, I hated getting rid of it, but also I wanted to get rid of it so I could switch over to something that has reverse. But whenever I posted it, it just kind of fell into my lap. Somebody offered me a street bike and I was like, damn, bro, that thing's so clean. I know it's worth so much more in value. I know I could resell it for so much more than what I could resell this 
450R for, and this guy's willing to trade me straight up. I couldn't pass it up. I literally couldn't pass it up. But guys, don't worry. I still have a four-wheeler. If you guys didn't see this video, which was actually the last one, you guys need to go watch it. Mo and I picked up Yamaha Blasters. And we both got pretty clean ones. I took and cleaned this thing up, and I've thrown a lot of SC1 on it. So it definitely uh, looks a lot better than it did when I picked it up. But overall, I mean, it's a pretty clean unit. I just need to replace the chain because that thing is a goner. If you guys didn't see the video, it's so, so loud. It's like as loud as a drag car. It's so loud. I, I don't know if there's no pack in, in the exhaust. We found what we think is, is an exhaust leak. Dude, I gotta fix that. It's like bad. But whenever I like get on it, it kind of like, I don't know if the card needs cleaned or if it needs rejetted, but I gotta figure that out. But guys, you guys just need to go check out this video. We're about to be having some blaster content coming soon. It's gonna be absolutely sick. I can't wait. These things are so much fun. So guys, other than that, tell me what you think of the street bike. I think we got an absolute deal. I'm super stoked about it. I hope you guys are as stoked as I am. I'm excited to take you guys along with me on the first ride on this bike. I think it's gonna be absolutely sick. I will tell you guys, this thing's fast. This things are really, really fast. I don't even know how people would want a 1000 after riding this. A 1000, dude, if you rolled into a 1000, it would just stand up. Like, oh my gosh, guys, a 1000 is a different breed. This is only a 750. I am glad, though, that I didn't get a 600. I probably would have said no to if somebody offered me a 600. 600s are just not enough power, guys. Tell me what you think. Um, I know my buddy Dylan started on a 600, and most people start on 600s because, like, that's the beginner bike. I do believe this is a good beginner intermediate bike. It's plenty of power, but you don't roll the throttle and it doesn't stand straight up on you when you roll into it like a 1000, I feel like would. So all in all guys, I'm pretty stoked with the trade that I made. I think it's gonna serve my purpose really well for my very first street bike and we're gonna have fun with it guys. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you think of the street bike. Tell me what you think we should do to it. What do you guys wanna see? Do you guys wanna see more street bike content? Are you like, okay, Christian, just sell it already and get another four wheeler? Tell me what you wanna see. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you turn on that post notification bell. You can be the first one there to check out the next video other than that guys i'm gonna wrap up the video and uh see you in the next one peace that's my bad sorry gotta kick it out that's my bag try to mess with my money wanna try that pray to real live long fake die fast then i slide past that's right you know i be watching my step that's right i'm the reason why your girl left that's right i just caught players while they call to the ref got them holding they breath taking shots that's right Scared money don't make no money. If I ever go broke, I'ma take your money. I could break off a little. <laughs> no, it looks like he's I mean, he has a Suzuki shirt on. No! Yo, you came prepared today. Yeah. Yeah, I was waiting for someone. He dressed for the occasion. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to notice. What? Nobody knows. Suzuki, know factory like, racing? Hey, Dad. Yeah, Big Blue, can I get a bike? <laughs> You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Come here, Pookie. Pretty girl. Hi. Well, I got one. And some guy offered me a 2009. Hey, shut up! <laughs>